Our second word problem example for the Poisson distribution. The other ones can be found here. Here is the problem statement. The number of students who log into a randomly selected computer in a college computer lab follows a Poisson distribution with a mean of 19 students per day. What do they want us to find? In part A, they want us to find... Can you hear that, neighbors? Using the Poisson probability distribution formula, so they want us to use the formula, determine the probability that exactly 12 students will log into this randomly selected computer lab in a given day. Remember, when you're using public labs, Wash your hands afterwards. Computer lab problem. First in part A, what they want us to do is use the formula to find the probability that exactly 12 people log into that computer. All right, so we're looking for the probability of 12. And then I write lambda 19 to the 12 e to the minus 19 divided by 12 factorial. Then you put that into your handy dandy calculator and you pound it out. And when you do, you end up getting 0 0.025888. So there's a two and a half percent chance that only 12 people use that computer. But the fun part is when we start testing intervals like this one. Next, find the probability that it is a slow day, that fewer than eight people log into this computer. Here, what if they wanted to know whether or not it was gonna be a slow day? Fewer than eight. So this is the probability that X is smaller than eight. Wait, do I include that? No, because it says fewer than. So, we go, and this is the probability of zero plus the probability of one plus the probability of two plus the probability of three plus the probability of four plus the probability of five plus the probability of six plus the probability of seven plus the probability of eight. Great. Now it's good they asked us to use the table because I put the table right here. So we need to go all the way down to here. Nope. Here. Yes. So I add zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus this plus that plus this. Not that. And I get, wait for it, wait for it, 14, 15. Point zero. Zero, one, five. Nah. Huh. X, you? You're not supposed to be there because it says fewer than eight. So I got rid of that guy right there. Box and flower. Part B. Using the Poisson probability table in the back of the book, determine the probability that the number of students who will log into a randomly selected computer in this lab on a given day is from 13 to 16. What does that mean? We need to find the probability that 13 students log in, plus the probability that 14 students log in, plus the probability that 15 students log in, plus the probability of 16 students logging in. And then we need to add them, and we can do so because they're independent. Next, this one is too low because I need more numbers. So I go out here and I bring in a nice tight shot. We're looking for 13 to 16. What does that mean? That means the probability that 13 is smaller than or equal to x is smaller than or equal to 16. And it's inclusive on the endpoints. So this is the probability of 13 plus the probability of 14 plus the probability of 15. Oops plus the probability of 16. So then I wanna go and I wanna add all of these guys. 13, 14, 15, and 16. And then when I do, it turns out that I'm gonna get 0.2314. So there's a 23% chance of getting in between 13 and 16 students in that lab, perhaps you're the person who staffs the lab, and you want to know whether or not you have enough employees. There you go.
Box and flower.